Here's my ranking of my top five favorite movies of all time. This list isn't necessarily the top five best movies of all time. It is just my personal top five favorite movies of all time. We're all going to obviously have different opinions on our top five favorite movies of all time. If we didn't have different opinions, this would not be an interesting topic at all. Thank you very much for watching. And I would love for you guys to comment down below your top five favorite movies of all time. And I will definitely be responding to every single comment because there's probably not going to be that many comments on this video because I don't really have that many subscribers. So thank you for watching and I do truly hope you get something out of this video. And if you get something out of it, I would love if you would subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. So no further than do, let's get into the video. And at number five is going to be the 1994 film directed by Quentin Tarantino. Pulp Fiction. I saw this film for the first time a couple years ago, and since then I saw it five to ten times in the past two years. I'm wearing the sweatshirt. It is a super, super rewatchable film for me, and this is actually the first Quentin Tarantino film I've ever seen, and that is definitely a big factor for me in how much I like this film, because ever since I watched this film, I've seen almost every single Quentin Tarantino film now. I love his direction just so much. And this is definitely, definitely a massively screwed up film. And I find a lot of the sick twists and stuff in this film to be very, very hilarious. Maybe I'm just messed up in the mind. Or maybe this is just a common opinion. I'm not really quite sure about this. One of the elements that I find very, very cool in this film is that the story has a bunch of small stories that are told out of order. And by the end of the film, they kind of come together to make a lot of sense. And that is one of my favorite aspects of this film without question. As well, Quentin Tarantino is very good at making very memorable characters. And he has a lot of help here because the cast here is very, very star-studded. You have Samuel Jackson, John Travolta, Bruce Willis, Christopher Walken. There's just a lot of amazing actors in this film. And one of the more standout aspects of this film, without question, has to be the dialogue. Just the conversations that the characters have between each other are just so memorable. There's some of the most stupid and pointless stuff ever, but I'm just going to remember the words that they're saying just for the rest of my life. That is why I love this film so much, and that is why it's my top five favorite movies of all time. Coming in at number four, there had to be a superhero film on this list. And this is my favorite superhero film I've ever seen in my entire life. That film being The Dark Knight. It has my favorite director of all time directing this film. That being Christopher Nolan. And honestly, he's my favorite director of all time. Much to do because of this film. This is my favorite Christopher Nolan film that I've seen. I've seen all his movies and this one is definitely number one for me. It also has my favorite superhero character of all time, that being Batman. Who doesn't love Batman? He's just by far and away my favorite superhero character. And the Dark Knight is definitely a big aspect of why I love Batman so much. And just the whole direction of this film I think is incredible. With having Joker honestly be the main aspect and storyteller of the film. You kind of follow his arc. And you can't forget about Heath Ledger. His performance as Joker here is by far and away the best movie villain performance of all time. It was sad to see that he died and actually wasn't able to see the Dark Knight movie when it came out, so that's kind of depressing. And because Joker takes away the show so much, you honestly kind of forget about Harvey Dent's Two-Face. He has also has an amazing arc in this film, where in the beginning of the film, he is the good guy of Gotham and he puts all these bad guys away. And then Joker makes him twisted and turns him into the Two-Face character that we see later in the film. So the villains in this film are just amazing. The side characters like Morgan Freeman as well as Michael Caine who's playing Alfred I think are both also amazing in every single film they're in but especially this film. Christian Bale is by far my favorite Batman actor and I love everything Christian Bale's in. Also, I love just the heist element of this film, the way they portray the action. The score from Hans Zimmer is also just phenomenal. Just my favorite moment of this film, without question, has to be the final scene where Batman just drives away and you hear the music and the score blasting. It is just a chill factoring moment in this film every time I watch it. This is a masterpiece. Most people would agree with me and is by far in my way. Without question, my favorite superhero film I've ever seen. I've seen this film probably 10 to 15 times in my life. And that is why it's coming in at number four. 
Number three is going to be once again another 1994 film that is based off of a Stephen King short novel, The Shawshank Redemption. And this film is just masterfully classed. It has an absolute amazing score and just an awesome message. The main character here is played by Tim Robbins. And the character is Andy Dufresne. He is one of the best movie characters I've ever seen in any movie ever. And this whole film just follows his life. And then you have the character of Red played by Morgan Freeman. Just the connection and bond that Red and Andy Dufresne form throughout the movie is just awesome. This film just has an energy and hopefulness to it that I haven't seen a movie ever have this level of that. It is so rewatchable. It's a movie that will make you happy every single time you watch it. It has a phenomenal story that I think is just perfectly crafted. And this film is so good to the point where I wanted to read the novel. And I don't read books, so that is everything you have to know about that. That's why it's coming in at number three. Number two on this list. There had to be a Star Wars film on this list because Star Wars is my favorite movie franchise without question is honestly a very big factor of my childhood. So you may ask what Star Wars film I'm putting on this ranking. No, it's not Star Wars The New Hope and no, it is not Star Wars Revenge of the Sith. Those two movies are easily in my top 30 films of all time and that might be a different video in the future. But number two of all time is going to be Star Wars Empire Strikes Back. This is the middle film in the original trilogy that came out in 1980. And some of the very standout moments for this film for me have to be the Luke and Yoda training sequence. That is honestly one of my top three favorite moments in Star Wars ever. And then you have the Luke and Vader fight, which is just so iconic. And just the Luke just realizing Vader is his father is just so memorable and is one of the best movie moments of all time without question. You have all the great characters here. You have the introduction of Lando Calrissian and Boba Fett. This film is awesome. Everyone knows it's great. And it's by far my favorite Star Wars film. And I just love this universe so much that there just had to be a Star Wars film on this list. If I could, I would put multiple Star Wars films on this list. But I didn't want to make it boring. I wanted to change it up a little bit. That is why this film is coming in at number two. And it also has the amazing John Williams score. I almost forgot to say that. And George Lucas is an absolute mastermind. I could go on for days talking about this movie. But I'm trying not to bore you too much. So that is why Star Wars Empire Strikes Back is my second favorite movie of all time. And almost my number one. You may all have been wondering what was coming in at number one. Maybe you weren't wondering because you probably didn't watch the end of this video. And if you somehow have watched up to this point, thank you. I know my video sucks. I'm just working here. I'm trying to get better. So thank you for that. So no further than do, the number one favorite movie of all time has to be Indiana Jones Raiders of the Lost Ark. It came out in 1981. It has Steven Spielberg. He is the best movie director of all time. He's not my favorite, but he's very, very close to being that title as well. You have George Lucas working on this film. You have Harrison Ford, who's my favorite actor of all time. He plays Indiana Jones. He plays Han Solo. How can you not love Harrison Ford? I love the character of Indiana Jones. That's just one of the reasons why I love this film so much. The score from John Williams is just so memorable. This film is just the ultimate adventure film. There's just constant adventure and action going on throughout this entire film. It never stops. And honestly, this film has some nice comedic tones to it where I do laugh at multiple times during this film. I love it. It's so watchable. It is by far my favorite film of all time. And I have a little bit of nostalgia for it. Even though I'm not that old, I didn't see it when it came out. But I remember playing on the Wii, the Indiana Jones Lego game. So that is some nostalgic for me and why maybe I like this film as much as I do. But it is by far my favorite film. Thank you so much for watching. I would love to see your top five favorite films in the comment section down below. I'll be responding to every single comment. Thank you once again. And if you enjoyed the content, please subscribe.